hello guys welcome back to my channel and today we are going to talk about well posedness of partial differential equations okay so when we talk of well posedness what is well posedness of a partial differential equation we say that <coughs> a pde right a pde is well posed is well posed if its solution So there are three conditions the solution has to satisfy for the PDE to be well posed or to be considered well posed. So the first one, the solution must exist. So if the solution exists, secondly, the solution has to be unique. If a solution is unique, it has to be unique. And the last one, the solution is stable. Okay. So for existence, it's very easy to understand. The solution must exist. It has to have a solution. Two, the solution has to be unique. You can have u of x t being equal to maybe sine x and sine or, or let's say you know t sine x. And then at the same time, for the same PDE, you you cannot have u of x being equal to maybe x t. No. It has to be unique, right? So if your of xt is u is xt, it has to be xt for all time and within the domain. Okay. So it has to be unique. Uh, then stability. So the stability is the effect on the solution after varying the components of it. So for instance, if I have u of x y as the solution, what I'm trying to say is if I vary y, what's going to be the effect on u? Okay, so if varying y by a small amount l can lead to a blow up in the solution, which I'm going to talk about later in this video, then the PDE is considered or the solution to it is not stable, hence the PDE is not well posed. So let's just <coughs> let's just pick them one after the other so for existence oh sorry existence i'm going to use examples or instances to talk about all these things so for example let's pick you're yeah, picking a um, you know counter example examples where you're not going to have existence you're not going to have uniqueness you're not going to have stability okay so, for example, the first one we have u x squared plus u y squared plus two. Think of it. This has no solution. Okay, the solution does not exist. So, solution does not exist for this PDE. You can try and solve it, and you would never get a solution to that. So, the solution does not exist. Okay. So the solution doesn't even exist for you to even talk about uniqueness or stability. So automatically, this PDE is not well posed. It is ill posed. Now for uniqueness, so you're going to pick an example of a PDE which has a solution, but then the solution is not unique. So let, let, let's just pick. You can even use ordinary differential equations here too as well. So let's use u prime prime plus u equals zero. <coughs> this is a, a differential equation. You can you can use the PDE variant of it, and it's still gonna be the same thing. It doesn't really matter, okay? So um, the 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 I think the initial condition of this is gonna be u of zero being equal to u of pi being equal to zero. These are the initial conditions. And then here, we know that the solution, one of the solutions is sine x. It's very easy, right? You all know how to solve differential equations and that the u of x is going to be sine x. We know one of them. There's a solution. So, oh, the solution exists. But is it unique? No, because u of x being equal to zero also satisfies the, the the ODE, right? So even though the solution exists, the solution is not unique. Hence, the the you know 
the ODE. You can write the PDE version of this that you can call it maybe UTT plus U equals zero, and then that's also gonna <laughs> work out for you, okay? So with this, you can call the differential equation ill posed, okay? Now the last one is gonna be stability. Stability. So here we're going to pick an example. We're going to pick this u this PD uxx minus uyy equals zero, subject to this initial condition u of x zero equals zero. And the domain is the entire row line, and y is on the <coughs> from zero to infinity, okay? Okay. So now, here, uxx is gonna be equal to uyy, right? And the solution to this PDE is just going to be, let me quote it, u of x is equal to sinh, the sinh of x, sinh of y, okay? The solution exists. The solution looks unique to the PDE, but now let's check stability. Is this stable? This is not stable. Why? Okay. Let me just pick, oh, sorry, it's supposed to be U of X, Y, right? U of X, Y. U of X, zero is gonna be equal to zero, right? I hope you all know that. I hope you all know how we write the sinh, or l let me just put it on sinh. If you want to know, sinh x is equal to e to the x plus e to the minus x divided by 2, okay? Oh, wait. No, sinh is minus. This is supposed to be minus, sorry. Minus, okay? So, okay, so that's it. So when you put, so sinh y is just going to be, you know, e to the y mi minus e to the minus y divided by 2. And when you put in 0, at y, you're going to have 0, okay? Now, let's just look at something interesting here. So y is equal to 0. I want to, you know, vary y by a small number, epsilon, okay? So, we know that the limit as x approaches infinity, no matter what x is going to be in this, u of x 0, right? It will always be 0. That is always going to be zero, okay? Because u of x zero is zero. No matter what x changes to become, you're going to have zero as the solution at y being equal to zero. However, if I just vary y by just epsilon, so I'm going to say y is just epsilon, right? Where epsilon is very small, it is very, very small very small okay then let's look at the limits as x approaches infinity of u of x epsilon now what is gonna happen since is an increasing function okay so you're gonna have the limit as x approaches infinity of sinh x okay then sinh of epsilon Okay, so now this is a constant, it's going to give you some constant, but sinh is an increasing function, which means that as x approaches infinity, sinh of x also approaches infinity, right? So this is going to be infinity in the long run, which means that the small variation in y, epsilon is very small, the small variation in y is causing the solution to be blow up right so it means that this pde even though the solution exists it's unique the solution is not stable and hence we can conclude that the pde is ill posed okay yeah so now why why are we talking about well posedness here um we just want to make <coughs> a statement about the 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 higher order you know 
partial differential equations we are going to talk about that's the wave the diffusion and then the laplace equations okay now there's this this statement we are going to make before we start with the wave diffusion and laplace equation and this equation uh, this statement is the wave the wave diffusion and laplace equations okay the laplace equations all these equations are well posed they are well posed with Dirichlet Neumann and Robin boundary condi uh, conditions Okay, so the wave diffusion Laplace equations with the Dirichlet, Neumann, and Robin boundary conditions, they are all well posed. But anti diffusion, anti diffusion, oops, <laughs> anti diffusion, that's, you know, ut being equal to negative kuxx is ill posed. It's ill posed. Okay, now know that diffusion, the diffusion is equation is ut being equal to, you know, kuxx. Anti-diffusion is actually opposed. Now look at, let's, let, let, let me explain that, um, you know, in some few seconds with this diagram. Consider, you know, the diffusion equation with an initial condition like this. That's the Gaussian. Okay, oops, <laughs> that, that, that doesn't look well. As time goes on, what diffusion seeks to do is to smoothen things out, okay? Smoothen things out. That's what diffusion does. Now, anti-diffusion is doing the reverse of that. It's actually not smoothening things out. It is actually doing the opposite of that, okay? So things tend to, you know, get, they are going to peak going to have a peak over here and at a point in time what happens is that this is going to blow up it's going to be it was it's going to go up and up and up to infinity okay so that's why we say anti-diffusion is ill posed okay so um this is going to be the end of the video about you know well posedness and if you like the content of my video you know leave a, like i always say leave a like on the video and then turn on post notifications su subscribe to my channel as well and um, see you in the next video in the next video we are going to talk about the wave equation i'm going to start talking about the higher order equations or higher order equations i think we will, we will first talk about the classifications of higher order partial differential equations and then from there we we'll talk about each one of them one after the other so see you in the next video